Hello world, I'm Uncle Cop, and this is Crusader Kings 2 Around the World. At this moment we are here burning Venice down, because we need some money, and after we get some money we are going to probably conquer the rest of Ireland and conquer a little bit more from here. I'd, re I'd really like to subjugate this guy, but for some reason it hasn't been an option for me at any point. What's actually happening here? High Chiefdom of Nidaros. You are at war with some of my friends, are you? Defending against King Oke of Ostlandet. How can you be king? Oh, because you're a petty king. Right, 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 right. But yeah, let's keep burning Venice down here. We got these zealots here as well. I don't mind about them. They can do whatever they want. My marshal Sumar de Yudra has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith residing in Tuadum Humhain. He suggested that I invite the woman to my court to see her work for myself. If she manages to impress me, I could order my own custom-made weapon. Fine idea, marshal! And apparently one of my council members is idle. Marshal. Marshal! Why are you not... You were supposed to be here leading troops. Dangerous factions. Lower tribal organization in Ireland. Who is thinking this? You? Sumar Lady of Hordaland. Well, Sumar Lady, we're gonna give you some money. And that puts you over 80, so that means you're gonna leave the faction. Who is attacking me here? No one. Once Marshal Sumar Lady had assured that the weaponsmith's craftsmanship left nothing to be desired, I received her in the throne room. She introduced herself as Mistress Skuva and gestured towards her numerous assistants who all carried examples of her work. Does my king have anything special in mind? You can never go wrong with a good sword, make a martial personal combat skill and monthly prestige. A lance is what I desire. On troops, martial personal and monthly prestige. Axes, light foot troops, martial personal combat skill and monthly prestige. Mace, heavy foot troops. So, I'll probably want an axe then. An axe, I see, an excellent choice, my king, says Mr. Skuda, and calls for what the assistant creating three axes in her arms. I have three examples of different quality levels here. One must determine what one needs and how much one is willing to pay, however, they would all serve your highness well. Lose 400, lose 100... I... Yeah! I mean, it would be nice to get something like this, but that costs 400 gold. I don't have that kind of money, and... I don't have enough boats to even get 400 in one raiding trip, so no! Actually, I changed my mind now. History is a subject. Student of strategy. I am. I have war focus, it seems. Yes, that's good. Dangerous faction. Didn't I already take care of that? Right, oh, you haven't left it yet. No more dangerous factions. And someone raised a host. Try to attack. Denmark, well, good luck with that. What? What are you doing? Are you raiding me? Dude, that's... that's not okay. Also, why would you be raiding me there? That's not... Jason... What is happening here? Oh, right, you are warring against with the guy of... Right, 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 right. Let's just burn Venice down. Oh, and I get a war trade. Let's take holding the center. Or direct leader. Why is this... God... Damn, Zumarlidi, you cannot do this to me! Victory! And I became a Viking! Excellent! See, we can fit some more gold there. Zumarlidi! Come back here! Then come back here! And now we're pretty much full. No, let's not disband. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get the boats. On to the boats. And the zealots left. I don't really care. Now we're gonna go back to there, bring the money home. I always knew my ambition would help me reach great places and to acquire some wealth during the way. It's always a nice bonus. Gold, diamonds, or... Oh, uh, wait. Got a little bit of money. Got 235 monies from there. Disband the boats, disband the troops. Let's look at the troop situation. 2,600 troops. You have 
very little troops, you do not have any allies. You have very little troops, you do not have any allies. Well guys, I am going to conquest you. Whoa! Why are your guys raised? Because they're events spawned. Right, well that's still not enough to defeat me, so I'm gonna declare war on you as well. What? Council votes no? Why are you voting no? There is no glory in this war. The opponent is strong for us to take on. This is why I hate the council. I would have wanted to declare these both wars at the same time, but because the council is a bunch of cowards, I can't do that. Right, so let's raise the levies, raise the boats, you guys. Go there. You guys get on the boats. You can't fit on the boats. That's sad. You guys get on the boats. Boats come down to here. We don't need those boats at this moment. And yep, let's see what's happening. They are trying to come to somewhere. What? You are out hunting one afternoon. A bearded elder approaches, donning a simple traveler's cloak and a wide brimmed hat that conceals his other eye. He greets you with courtesy, requests a horn of mead, and then informs you that just yonder a well lies forgotten, filled with gold. He wanders off chuckling as he goes, leaving you struck with the familiarity of his presence. You inform your men that the wanderer was none other than Odin. You ignore your men's insistence that stranger was the old father. You scold for men for believing in the gods. No, no, no. We're gonna become zealous, because zealous gives more martial. It's excellent. And we're also gonna get 50 gold and 50 prestige, so that's nice. Uh, wait for the rest of the guys to come. I am. I shall be a master of strategy, adept of strategy. Okay. We got 2,000 troops here. These boats can go and get these 500, 600 guys from here. You guys, let's put. I'm going to lead. And uh, Bo gets to lead. That's. Uh, I actually want some more troops in the middle. Of Yeah, that's that's good. Oh, Eskok, you get to leave that. Well, let's go crush that army, or at least win it in battle. Oh, they defeated me in a siege. Doesn't. Oh, what the heck, Bo? What did you do? Why did you lose? Oh, heck, 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 heck. this is not good. Oh, but we still won. I think no, we lost. Their leaderless flank won the battle. <laughs> like the entire battle was won by the one leaderless flank. Designated regent. Huh. Who shall I make designated regent? I shall make Oke the Jarl of Ostlandet into the designated regent so that he will have positive opinion of me. Oh, and I should probably call my vassals into this war as well. These guys on the boats bring you guys here. Where are you actually going? Tyrone. Go to Tyrone. Then. And all of my vassals, I think, honor the call. Right, and now we got a group of 3,000 dudes here. This one should win. How can I rely on my generals? Well, let's give you... Ah, oh, these are both kind of bad, because I don't have any cavalry and there can be only one direct leader in a group. Well, if I'm gonna ha have bigger wars at some point, maybe it's better to have more direct leaders then. And now we're gonna win this battle quite easily. And then we're gonna go siege this... Oh no, first we're gonna assault this, this one that he sieged from us. Go to his place here, and he's got only 330, so we're gonna assault. I got some technology points, nice. Anything we'd like to spend them on? Not really. And, yeah, we lost 134 guys to that assault. I don't mind. Let's put Sumarlidi here. What? What just 
happened? Where did where did you go? He's my marshal, right? He's my marshal man. Leading troops into Andumhain. <sighs> did you suddenly decide to go into one of these subflanks? No, you are not here. Ooh, get more, even more technology. Wow. Oh, now we can should actually use it. Where did... Like, where did he go? Leading troops into Adumhunain. It says... I go to location, it shows this. Yet, see, I can't... Okay, now I, I think I know what's happening, actually, now that I think about it a little bit more. Uh, he is leading one of these allied troops here, most likely. Well, that's annoying. Oh, Bo died, so I need a new miner, or lead a new commander. Yeah, Iron Burn, you get to be a new commander. Let's use this tech. Which tech? Economy tech. Well, actually, let's... Cause I need to build these up to Stonehill Fort, and I think they require something. Well, I don't remember, is it castle infrastructure or improved keeps? Probably improved keeps. Let's take improved keeps. And let's take castle infrastructure as well. So, <laughs> doesn't matter which one it is. Siege of Kildalua. Victory. So, for peace and false demands. Thank you for this land. This band. Whoa. Well, that's about a hundred troops that don't get to come home. I don't understand why. Am I a fool? No. Oh, because. Somebody's still sieging me somewhere, probably. Why? Yep, so... And my marshal is doing nothing, so you get to train troops again. Nidaros. Right, then we're gonna declare war on this guy. Have you got any allies? No, still don't have any allies. Declare war. Conquest of Dejo Humhain. Now my council is okay with it. And yeah, we need to create a new goatee there. And expand the boats. Race troops, race boats. You guys go to Connacht. You guys get on the boats. The boats shall come to Connacht. And you guys still can't fit on those boats, so we'll just expand the boats. Send you guys to neighboring county. Ah, uh, another preacher decided to come preach about Christianity into our lands. Ha ha ha. You are going into the prison. And you most likely can be ransomed. No, he's not willing to pay 10 gold. <laughs> well, then you are going to be banished. Can I banish you? I cannot. Can I execute you? I can. So I'm gonna execute you. And let's call our vassals into the war again. Someone's gonna decline. I don't mind. We got troops here. Yeah, a couple of people couldn't come. Now we got loads of troops here. Let's go. Defeat the army. Send one of you boats to get those guys. And the other boat. Expand. And yeah, we're going to crush them. That's pretty simple. Go here, put Marshall, you can ah Right, this is the reason why I usually don't like to have marshals as commanders, because I cannot assign a new job and I cannot take him away from this job so that he could lead troops at this moment. Well, I don't think we're gonna need him, but it'd be faster. Who are you? High Chief of Kuavia. Somewhere here. Yeah, sure, it's a wonderful idea. Would you like to form an alliance with me? Yes, you would. That's nice. Are you warring someone? You are not. Okay, that's even better. What happened? Someone died? My father-in-law. And Emund. Died of severe stress. Was my chancellor. So now my chancellor is going to be... This guy, Ofeg, Chief of Kildare. And you can do... Oh, for your leader. 
you can you do not get to lead troops you get to do that thing or maybe we should actually do yeah improve relations let's look at the realm tree are there any guys who really need no not really okay maybe we should probably yeah, he won't see it on council. Do you have any good stats? Okay. Not. I need a court physician. So, Eskak gets to be court physician. He's already a renowned physician. Hmm. Were you... Someone's physician already? I don't remember. Yeah, let's take care of this war. It's going to end quite fast. I could have assaulted here maybe let's assault in the end my concubine is pregnant excellent lost 52 troops I don't mind and then let's just yeah siege this temple well these are once again pretty much useless traits to give you can get leading the center oh no all the stats are the same how am I going to choose well you're a woman uh, you're yeah, you get to be a thrift, because that's probably the best thing for a woman. And my wife is pregnant! Excellent! Children are nice. Alright, the war is 100%. Let's offer peace, enforce the demands. Put you guys down. Give this temple to a random vassal. And the, you are the only one left, but you are allied to the King of Pictland, and the King of Pictland has loads of troops. 3,000 troops! Yeah, we probably shouldn't win him. Wooden Hillfort has been built in Nidara Stripe. That's nice. Build a market town next. I should probably build these Hillforts and market towns in pretty much every place I own. Whoa, Konacht is actually finished with these things. Right, but I think that's enough for this episode. In the next episode, we're probably going to take the rest of Ireland, and then we're gonna start heading towards Brittany, and then we're gonna start trying to go this way, and then finally start moving. Moving, because now I feel like I gotta be pretty good bower... Bower, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now I feel like I, I got a pretty good power base here. Basically, I still need to, yeah, I still need to try to get these, these places so that I can reform my religion. What's actually the religious situation? You guys are Germanic, that's nice. Yeah, that's, they'll, well, until next time. I'm gonna cut this as being Crusader Kings to around the world. Goodbye world, thanks for watching.